My parents were very politically active in the Chicano movement, uh, civil rights movement, and they were also uh, United Farm Worker organizers, so they volunteered quite a lot. And I grew up on picket lines, grew up going to Delano uh, for the farm worker cause. And so by the time I had gone to UCLA, they were not as active, but they still got the newsletter. They still occasionally went to fundraisers and things. When I had heard about Cesar Chavez's um, hunger strike, it was through one of those newsletters. And then I also noticed that they had kept this sort of tally of uh, deaths by pesticides of farm workers. And I thought that there, that was something that I wanted to uh, people to know about. It was important for me to express who I was and how I grew up and the new, unique um, situation that my parents raised me in. This is a piece I originally created for a new genres class uh, that was being taught by Chris Burton at UCLA. I um, decided to do an uh, installation about uh, farm workers who had died from pesticide poisoning. And I decided to work with information that was being published in the United Farm Worker sort of a newsletter. Originally, the information was put on uh, index cards, and then I planted it in a large dirt re rectangle. Years later, when I decided to go to CalArts, um, I wanted to use the information, but in a different way. So I decided to have my brother plant the index cards into sort of a diorama type situation where uh, I created a landscape with soil and then used a, a blue paper photo backdrop as the sky. This piece is called Bend. It's one of three pieces that came out of uh, my travels to Oaxaca, Mexico in the 90s. The photographs are all from Zapotec ruins, except for the self-portrait in the middle. And the text sort of recounts my travels in Oaxaca and an experience I had inside a museum looking at the remains of an elderly uh, Zapotec woman. I had to leave Oaxaca early because my grandmother died and when I had left to travel to Oaxaca she was in the hospital. So looking at the remains of the Zapotec woman in the museum um, really brought a lot of issues up for me regarding my family and our ancestry and um, you know thinking of Mexico as sort of a, a, a motherland. I approached Rebecca McGrew about uh, working with the Benton Collection. Um, not unfamiliar with Pomona College and its museum. I had been exhibited a few times before, and I, I knew that they had a fairly, um, you know, robust collection. So uh, I thought, you know. I could work with it and at the same time exhibit some of my lesser known installation work. I went through the Benton Collection um, archives. I basically used keywords that were associated with the work that I was installing. So farm workers, labor. Um, for the Bend installation I worked with uh, sky, uh, ruin. So keywords that addressed both the installations and from those keywords did searches in the database and came up with um, mostly photographs that um, I think work with each installation in a kind of special way. There's two different rooms that make up the exhibition. Uh, the room that we're currently in is the room for untitled uh, farm workers and along uh, you know, the wall here, you see um, photographs about labor, uh, depicting uh, picketing and farm labor. Uh, and you also see the Prometheus studies by Orozco over here. 
that feature people's hands and their backs to sort of recall, you know, what it's like to labor, basically. Um, and then in the other room, we have Bend, uh, which, in which the photographs from the collection focus more on, a, on depictions of light and sky um, directly taken from the narrative that goes along with Bend. <laughs>